Hello guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to migrate our vCenter 5.5, which is a Windows box, to our vCSA, which is an appliance. So this is a new feature which is introduced in 6.5, which has a tool which from which we can migrate that. So let's go ahead and first of all read our release note, which is provided by VMware. So there are a few things which we should be aware of. So 6.5 does not support any client. So there is only a web client, uh, HTML5 introduced, but it has a limited functionality and the default one already exists. Apart from that, uh, vCenter server cross vCenter provisioning is no more supported and the vMotion other stuff as well. The vCenter operation foundation is also no longer offered. So even the NSX, which is uh, NSX 6.2.x is no more supported on this you will get an error while deploying that so this is something which you should note because while installation you have to take care of this clause now let's go to the vmware compatibility guide so you can select your esx 6.5 and your required hardware cpu series and you can check before you go ahead with the upgradation that my esx 6.5 is supported or not now let's go to our fully functional updates for the vSphere client. You must go through this document as well so that get a complete understanding that what vSphere client is supporting right now in 6.5. Also, uh, make sure you check that your VMware metrics, our current version is 6.5.5, I'm sorry, and we are updating to 6.5. So you can see from this as like it's fully supported. So guys, before we actually start our installer here, we need to go to our Windows box, which is our vCenter server. In this, we have to run our migration assistant. This is something which is already available in the ISO. So just run Windows migration assistant. Let's put the password. This is going to extract all the necessary script to check the prerequisites, what all information it has to copy. Post that this particular script is going to request us to actually run the main migration wizard. So let's hold on while this gets completed. So you can see here the source configuration. It has given that the deployment type is VMware vCenter 5.5 with an embedded VMware single sign-on. Deployment size is tiny, DB size is embedded. The deployment type vCenter server appliance 6.5 with an embedded VMware platform service controller. This will be the destination configuration and DB type will be embedded. Here is the configure FAQGN, single sign-on, thumbprints, port number, export data, folder so it has all these things migration steps it has been specified launch the vcenter appliance your installer and click migrate to start the migration wizard in the wizard enter the fkdn so we have to provide all the information there and select the tiny deployment note this machine will be shut down as a part of the migration so we have to make sure that if the migration fail you can power off the target vcenter appliance and then power on the machine so now we are going to launch the installer. We'll click on migrate and it's the first stage. So I'll click on next, accept the EULA. Next, we are going to provide the information of the source vCenter, SSO password. Let's go ahead and click next. Yes to the thumbprint. Now we are going to provide the vCenter IP so where is the target location in my case I'm using an ESX host so I'll provide the ESX IP and the password of the root so it has been updated we'll click next certificate warning yes it's validating yes now let me give the plans password we 
click next we are going to use tiny so next select let it be thin thin disk mode yeah um, now we need to provide a temporary IP. This IP will be temporarily located to the appliance so that it can get configured. We'll provide one temporary IP as 52. Let's update with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Default gateway and the DNS server. Let's click on next. We need to review all the settings. If all the settings looks good, click on finish. It started initializing. We should go back and also check to our Windows box. And you can see the Windows box has started talking to the actual migration wizard. and we can see the deploying of the appliance it's eight percent so guys i'll fast forward the video now and we'll be back once the deployment of an appliance is done So the first stage is done. So you have successfully deployed the vCenter server with an embedded platform service controller. So to proceed with the stage two, I shall click on continue. If you exit, you can continue the plan setup maybe later on with the following URL. So let's click on continue. Let me go to the Windows box and see, okay. Uh, next stage so pre check is in progress Yes, we can see returning deployment type embedded, collecting network configurations, operation is successful, then network configurations, collecting is successful, running pre-checks. Can see lots of things happening. Start copying migration assistant blocks. Copy the blocks to the remote host. So let's give a domain. Let's join to a domain. So uh, let's click on next. Here we are going to get an option to select what all information you want to copy from your old vCenter. It's just a configuration or a configuration events and task or you want to copy configuration events, task and performance metric as well. So depending upon the size of your vCenter, the size of all these files will be larger. In my case, I have to just copy the configuration. So we'll be selecting here configuration and we'll be doing next. So let's click on next. I'm not going to join right now. Next. Review all the configurations, whatever we have done or provided before. 
and you have to make sure that you have already taken a proper backup of your database or in my case I have just taken a snapshot of my vCenter server let's check that box and read all the information to make sure all the configurations are right and now click finish so it says that the source machine will be shut down okay so the migration is being initiated we can go to the windows box and see I'm fast forwarding the video now so during this entire step my source vCenter desktop client goes off whereas my source windows box also get powered off the entire configuration for happening took around somewhere around 1 or 10 minutes again depend upon the performance of your vCenter server so let's wait for this entire setup to get complete Final installation is complete and let's click on the URL and try to log into our vCenter. And we all know that this is a web client. We don't have any desktop client for this. Let's log in. We have been logged into our vSphere web client. It's look quite familiar and a similar kind of a look and feel. Let's expand and see only one ESX was there in my cluster. If it still exists, which was 5.5, .5, yes, it's there. Now, next task is to make sure that all the configuration what was available in your previous vCenter do exist in this case. So don't forget to check all your configuration of your standard switch, distributed switch, storage level, all the configurations are also available. And you, mu you must be aware if anything goes wrong, you can still power up the appliance and go back to your previous one. So I'm just doing a fast forward and trying to check by basic configurations like host profile, which I've created, which was a test profile. Yeah, I do exist and I'm going to my storage. I created one storage cluster. Yes, it do exist as well. Now, you must be aware that with 6.5, we get VMware Update Manager by default in an appliance, whereas in Windows, you have to install separately, but here we get by default. Now, I'm going to actually upgrade my ESX host. I'm not going to, but yeah, I'm going to a state where you can remediate it, but let's go. So, go upload the ISO. Select the ISO from your local desktop. Let me select that. Yes, the ESX ISO. Now our next task is to create a baseline. Yeah, you can review that at 6.5. Everything looks good. Now you can close this. Go to host baselines. We'll create a new baseline. In baseline, we are going to select host update. I'm sorry, upgrade. Give the information, click on next. Select the ISO which we have uploaded. Yeah, finish. Now I'll go back to our ESX host. 
go to update manager tab on the right side will attach the baseline which we created so guys you can just uh, review everything and you can just click on remedy but in my case I'm not doing so because my recent is running on that so thank you guys thank you for watching video don't forget to sub subscribe like and comment